I'm Christopher Titus, and this is the Armageddon Update. And guess what? We just don't have a climate change problem in America where extreme weather is ravaging the entire planet, but we also seem to have an intelligence crisis. We are seeing extreme stupidity events in America like we have never seen. There is an ignorance front that has met a stupidity tsunami and the hurricane of dumb that has formed is devastating. And at the center is this woman, a crazy, uncontrollable Nazi terror, and she is in Congress. (laughs) This is political climate change, people, and it is destroying democracy and America. This week, this terrible, whiny, afflicted taint of a human being said she thinks we need an American divorce, that the red states and the blue states should, you know, get divorced, and that any Democrat that moves to a red state is going to have to wait five years to vote in that state. So on top of stating a traitorous idea that would entail a civil war, she also wants to take away a constitutionally protected right to vote. So this batshit, ignorant, terrible, crazy harlot is not only promoting and supporting treason, she is also violating the basic tenet of our democracy. But her stupidity isn't limited to treason and fascism. She doesn't understand how this country works and that if she separated the red from the blue states, she would pretty much end those red states. Let's break it down. Red versus blue states! Blue states pay the most in federal taxes. California and New York pay the most in federal taxes, period. California pays $472 billion and New York pays $305 billion, which means we make the money in our states and send it to the federal government and they send it to the red states who are the top takers of our liberal, gay, trans, woke, socialist demon money. Mississippi, Montana, Wyoming, Louisiana, Kentucky, West Virginia, and Alaska. Alaska? There's like nine people in Alaska. What, don't they have oil money? In fact, out of the top 10 states that receive more federal money than they contribute, 80% are red states. That's right. All the states bitching about liberals and socialism are states that take the most money from socialist liberals. We actually make it so they have enough money to take a day off to protest drag shows. California only gets back 60 cents for every dollar it sends to the federal government. Kentucky, on the other hand, <coughs> gets back a buck 89 for every dollar it pays. Mississippi gets back 260 for every dollar it puts into the kitty, which pays for the furnaces to burn library and history books. And West Virginia gets $3.09 for every dollar it puts in. So I say fine. Let's go with your idea. The red states will get zero money from us ass-kicking, pay-for-you rednecks to survive blue states. We'd love to keep our money here in California instead of sending it to you. You, who can't seem to pull yourself up by your bootstraps. So to all of you red states, and to Marjorie Taylor Greene, you wicked, hateful, obtuse, ridiculous, evil excuse for a human being, you live in a state that already is blue. You have two Democratic senators and Georgians voted for Biden. It's a blue state, you tri-toed sloth. So you don't get to vote for five years in your own state. Got it? It's your idea. I'm Christopher Titus. And this is the Armageddon Update. God, people just say shit without thinking it through. At least I think it through. I'm not saying I'm right. I'm not even saying I got the right attitude. But at least I'm correct.